good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a really great day. Today's video, I'm going to be looking at creating some mockups and how to use the smart mockups feature in Canva. Now, this is in answer to a question that I put out over on my community tab. You can check that out down below. Just make sure you check on the community tab. On there, I do ask all sorts of like different questions to see if there's any way that I can help you as part of this community. So. If you do have any questions about what you want to do in Canva, do get involved in those questions down there because it's really helpful to both myself and also to help you because I can then create videos around questions that you have on how to better use Canva and create better content. So let's dive into Canva and have a look at how we can use smart mockups in Canva. For those of you that are new here, my name is Darren Meredith. I'm a Canva certified creative and also a Canva creator. I help you create better content for your designs and show you how you can use Canva to create that content as well. I've got all the links down below to my Facebook group and also do check out down there for a 45 day free trial of Canva. But let's get into today's video where we're going to be showing you how to use smart mockups in Canva. Here we are, we're in Canva and this is just a blank page or the welcome page if you like on canva and what we're going to do is i'm just going to create a design and i'm going to create it based on a facebook post uh, let's have a look facebook post now it doesn't matter what you're using it depends on where you want to share this in the future but i'm just choosing a blank canvas in order to be able to use this smart mockups feature now what you'll need to do in order to create your smart mockups feature first or to create your smart mockups is you have to first create your designs so what I've done is I've taken some of my other designs my other templates and things like that that I'm going to then use in smart mockups so what I've done is I just go into export you can export those as a PNG or as a JPEG and that will help allow you to then use that in the smart mockups area. All we're going to do is we're going to come down to what we're going to come down to uploads. I'm totally forgetting where I was going there for a second. I'm going to come down to uploads and these are just some different designs that I've created. These are some that I drew over on my Procreate app that I really like. And let's say, you know, I wanted one of these as a book cover. So let's say I wanted this International Women's Day celebrating great women that's the title of my book my book cover and I want that as um, to just be on the outside of the book what we're going to do is we come over we'll upload it here you can even click on upload you can drag and drop into the uploads area and it'll automatically recognize whether it's an image a video or whether it's audio and we're going to come on to how you can create some video smart mockups a bit later on so do make sure you stick around for that once we've uploaded or re-uploaded our image we've exported it we've re-uploaded it and we've now got it on our canvas now where do we go because you might think like well actually I'll go down here and it's there but it's not where we're going is we're going to come on to edit image and when we come on to edit image you can scroll down and you'll see there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do here on uh, with a, with an image now oops i just clicked on festive i don't want the festive look now i've used smart mockups recently and you can click see all and if it's not there you can see if you scroll right down to the bottom if you can't see smart mockups it'll probably be down here you just click on that and it will put it into the menu for you there okay so smart mockups what we're going to do is we've highlighted our design click on edit image and we're going to click on see all you'll see it'll give us a few different ones we can scroll through here but it's better if you click on see all now with this one it's going to be a book cover is what i thought would be good for this one so we've got different computers desktops cards greeting cards there is books in here there you go so you've got eight different book covers that you can have you've got different hands you've got just the book on its own you've got the book on a table someone holding a book in a couple of different styles what i'm thinking is i just want to be able to put this on my own background so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create this book six now all i do is with the design highlighted i just click on this book six and for this one you'll see compared to how the image looked beforehand if i click undo okay so if you look it's kind of cut a little bit off the left and the right 
and we're gonna you're gonna get that but let's just click back on to smart mockups and we want to come back down to that book option I'm just gonna come down it was down here wasn't it yeah so we just want this smart book smart mockup book option here and we can see there now what this has done is it's actually stretched it out a little bit to make sure it covers the book edge to edge if you like now what we can do is we can come down once we've applied that or once we've added that and we've got this we can see some extra controls now you can see that this three little icons here and we've got a couple of different options we've got fill which is the option that's automatically chosen here now if we want to actually show all the image but leave like a, a board around the edge you can choose fit and you can see that it kind of leaves a blank space at the top and the bottom doesn't really work on this and then we can also choose custom so we can choose the horizontal position so you can you know kind of like move it around as you need to kind of like moving it left and right and then up and down if need be and this one's not moving up and down because it's using the full edge to edge up and down and I can also shrink it so if I wanted to shrink this and I wanted this to be in the middle around about there and then the vertical is also around about there. I'm guessing the middle position is 50 and 50 and that's going to put it in the middle and then I can just change the size to be whatever I want it to be. And you can just play about with that again you can come down here and you can zoom in if you want to move it left and right and you can also change the object color so if we can see here where we've put this in the middle if we want a different color book we can do so say I want the actual book cover to be within my brand colors I can just come down here and where I've actually set my brand fonts and colors I can actually come down here and choose one of my brand colors alternatively you can choose one of the default colors or you can come up here to this add a new color and you can then just move around and choose whichever color you want on here I quite like that color it's kind of like a mauvey color um, and that's the color you can choose for your book to show you know this might be the actual color of your book again it depends on what you're using this for and then you just hit the apply button and then once you've hit the apply button we're going to just come back and zoom back out you can see now that if I change my background color of this to be let's say I want it to be pink I can then now come down and that's my book and I can just come in and add some text on here new book um, and I can just you know design it so it's kind of like gives a good idea of what my book is gonna look like it's really good concept to show now that's the book there's a lot of other things that you can also do on here and one of the things that I like to do is to show kind of my some of my other designs so I'm just gonna click add a page and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to my uploads and one of the ones that I really like is this one okay now this is a uh, one of my templates again check out all the links down below there's gonna be some links down there so you can check out the 45 day free trial of Canva and also check out all the templates that I create so if you've got a pro account you can use those templates free of charge with the actual image highlighted so what I've done is I've taken my template I've exported it and re-imported it into this uploads area and again we're going to click on edit image we're going to come over it'll show us now we've got this smart mockups area here and let's just say we want to use this laptop design here now you can see there it kind of like stretches it out doesn't really show the design so what again what you do is you come over you click on these and you probably choose fit that's going to be your best option now because this is a smart mock-up with an actual image there's no option to choose the background color or anything else like that so it is just as it is click apply again you can move it left and right if you wanted to so if I wanted to I could have moved the actual image to the left or to the right 
and then what I can do is I can just choose to replace the background on this and that sets that image as the actual background now if I don't like the composition of that I want to move it a little bit more towards the left or to the right to give it a little bit of a better look now that's in there and that's now a concept that I can now choose to actually export that and I can you know you can add text in there or anything else that you want on there really like that idea if you want something that's going to bit fit better on a kind of like a laptop screen then you're looking more at something like maybe a um, well what have we got let's go for this this is a YouTube end screen I've created so you might want to come over and click edit image smart mockups I'm just going to run through this quickly and this is one of the popular ones laptop design clicking on that and you can see now this fits a little bit better however it doesn't fit fully so rather than fill come down to fit and it adds a bit of a black border across the top and the bottom again because it's a laptop and we're used to seeing those black bars at the top and the bottom then you're probably going to get used to doing that again if you wanted to you can come down to custom and move it up and down left and right depending on how your image is fitting within that screen but you're looking at you know filling that screen and if you've got an image that say portrait then it's not going to fill it edge to edge it's going to only fill it kind of like in the middle because you, you can't just stretch it if you stretch it it's going to look either distorted or it's going to zoom into the image uh, we're just going to come with um, fit so that the actual design fits with inside the screen click apply again once we've clicked apply we can come down and we can click on replace background and what that replace background option is doing is it's actually setting this image as the background again we can come in and we can double click on that and we can move that over so you know it looks like somebody's watching one of my videos and or has just watched one of my videos and it gives them the option to you know watch either the next one or whether to subscribe so if you're not subscribed to this channel do make sure you click on subscribe next we're going to have a look at how you can create some mock-ups with video so you'll see these smart mock-ups are all still but what you can do also is you can come down I'm just going to click on add a page here and you can come down to elements and under elements you've got different frames so again either a laptop or a monitor screen or a phone screen I've got what it was called then <laughs> So let's have a look at this phone screen. I'm just going to stretch this one out so it's easier for you guys to see. So if I just stretch that out, I'm just going to put that in the center and in the middle. Now, all I did is I picked up my phone and did a quick screen recording and then I've uploaded that again. Really simple concept to do. I do screen recording. I can then just do a transfer via AirDrop to my Mac and then upload it on here now what I did first is I've created a or just recorded the mobile Canva app and you'll see in here all I do is I just drag that over and I can choose to crop this image here I just click on the scissors and I can choose to crop where I want this to start and finish so I might want it to you know where I'm waiting to get started I might want to start here and that's now giving me a 20 second clip so once you've dropped it inside the frame click on it highlight it you'll see the scissors come up here and this will then give you the option once you click on the scissors in order to drag the frames in and that will then decide which part of the video is going to play really like that concept again come over here I'm just going to show you another element and that is the desktop element or the monitor screen now what I did is I went and took a screen recording of my website where I sort out where or how all my templates are organized check it out links all down below not going to go on too much about that but all the links are down below in the description again come over to uploads this is the screen recording I've done you can either click and drag or if I just click it, it'll add it to the 
area there and then once it's in there you see it kind of comes in and doesn't show fully I can double click can't really move it around that much you can see it's moving around a little bit but generally the screen recording will fit with inside the monitor if I'm trying to fit this inside a laptop it doesn't quite show fully because the laptop screen is that little bit smaller so you might want to just try and record a smaller area or a smaller size of your monitor I'll check that out and check out what best resolutions and sizes are best for each of these and do a future video on that coming up so do make sure you click like and subscribe down below and make sure you have notifications turned on to be notified of any future videos that i do around this area around smart mockups this is just my website better content creators and i've just done a screen recording on that and i can choose because this is a video all i do is i choose to come over to the download option here and i can click download and i can choose mp4 video and I would just choose, I wouldn't choose all of them because I don't want all of them to play. But what I want to choose is I want to choose page five, choose that, download that. And then what that does is it downloads it as an MP4 video. And you can upload that as a video file to your Facebook, your Instagram. This is a Facebook size. Again, if you wanted to just resize this, you could come over to the resize option. And you can either choose to, um, let's choose Instagram. So if I wanted to do an Instagram post, I can do a copy and resize. Really great feature. I love this. One of my favorite features of Canva Pro. And as I say, if you're not a Canva Pro member, check out the links down below. There's a 45 day free trial of Canva Pro down there for you. But you can see here now where I've just been able to do that. I can just come in, double click that. And I'm not having to go in and just recreate all these on for each kind of social media size that I want to do because I've now got a copy of that so I've got a I've just changed the version here Instagram mock oops, mock up new book you can leave it as new book and again just come in double click on that and that allows me to reposition that image that's set as the background and I can then come in and I can choose to just export these as I will and it'll do a good job of resizing but you might come in need to come in and do tweaks and things like that I've done a video on resizing in Canva check that out up here so once you've checked that out do make sure you click like and subscribe on this video I think that's everything if you've got any other questions about using the smart mockups option in Canva or you found this video useful let me know down in the comments below Really appreciate you being here and sticking to this video for so long. But until next time, thank you very much. And bye for now. You can't be losers, set me free. You make me win.